scratching in the walls, scratching in the ceilings. This is call number 575. We have a customer that we're heading out right now that uh, described as scratching in the walls, rats are having a party. These people have been through so much. They've actually gone to the extreme of ripping out the roof, uh, going through the entire attic, disinfecting the attic, uh, securing everything, so stay tuned. We're about to track them down. All right, guys, we're constantly getting the calls after rodent companies. They come in, they secure the property with this type of netting around vents like this. Very, as you can tell that this is very secure. They've used expansion foam. They even secure the uh, vents on the drains and trim all of the trees that are overhanging because oftentimes the rodents will use tree limbs and come up onto these flat roofs. So this is what we get called in all the time after all of the frustration. So stay tuned. We're going to begin to test this drain system. All right, guys, so here's uh, one of the biggest areas that's so loud. They've replaced this entire ceiling, all of the insulation up in the attic. There was a lot of rodent feces, uh, rodent urine. Um, so again, after about a week to two weeks, they thought it was solved. Sure enough, around 1.30 in the morning, they started hearing a bunch of activity. This is another wall that they're uh, hearing a lot of the uh, activity as well. So we're gonna focus on these two areas. So stay tuned. When it comes to rat urine and keeping our customers' indoor air quality safe, we're very big on commercial grade HEPA filtration. That's what this is here. So when we're opening up walls or making incisions, we we'll always have this in the same room just for that extra added protection. All right guys, so as you can see here, there's uh, one crawl space on the west side of the house. And you can see that they're continuing to uh, leave traps underneath the crawl space. We're going to go ahead and access the sewer for the uh, UV non-toxic smoke. So stay tuned. All right, so we're going to go ahead and utilize this clean out here in the crawl space and use our uh, UV non-toxic smoke. So we're going to go ahead and start the injection process now. Okay, guys, we found it. It's a, uh, a vent type here that you could see was never terminated up through the roof. And there's actually uh, mice droppings right here on the insulation. So definitely coming up through this vent right here. All right, guys, well, another successful rodent infestation detection and rodent companies. Please, when you're up into the attic and you find those vents, I know you're not plumbers, but when you see those vents and they're not terminating all the way up through the roof, that is a great, great sign, especially if you can find any defecation around a pipe. That's always a great clue. And to solve that uh, is a studer vent. So you're not having to penetrate through the brand new roof. This is a great way to uh, solve that issue. Just check with your local plumbing codes. All right, guys. Well, as always, thanks for watching.